All right, today we have a 2006 Nissan Murano. Um, our customer had the brakes checked out at a different shop and they told her it's time for some new rear brake pads and rotors. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that repair for her. Um, I went ahead and supported the vehicle already and got the wheel off. So we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, you wanna do one side at a time, you know, one complete side at a time. So we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, the tools you need for this job are straightforward. There's a 14 millimeter wrench, a 19 millimeter socket, or wrench would work too, um, and something to compress the rear brake piston. Um, I personally, I, I like the uh, big C-clamp vice grips. You can also use a C-clamp, or, or there's various ways of doing it. Uh, we also have some lubricant to put on the brake pads that will help keep them from making noise. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing we do is to break loose the two 14 millimeter bolts on the brake caliper. Now you'll see the top one will come right out. The bottom one on this car is actually going to hit the uh, lower control arm. So we don't even have to pull it all the way out yet. You can see I slid it down and it just slides out. So we'll leave that attached for right now. Uh, next step is going to be to remove the two 19mm bolts which hold the caliper bracket in place. Once you get one out, you'll be able to swing the whole assembly up and remove the caliper the rest of the way. Just set that aside. Don't let it hang from the brake hose. So I'll just set it up there for right now. And continue taking out the other bolt and get this caliper bracket off. You can see here there's really not much brake pad left on these. Definitely ready for a brake job. Just set that assembly aside and next step we have to get this rotor off. Let's see if this one needs that. There it goes. If it doesn't come off that easy, you can hit it with a hammer and that'll free it up. There's our old brake rotor. You can see behind here, these are actually the parking brake shoes. They still look in good condition, so we don't have to do anything with them. Okay, here we have our new brake rotor. We ordered this from Auto Parts Direct to you. Gonna compare it with the old one, make sure it's the same diameter. You can see it's a, a perfect match. So, what we want to do now, we're gonna bring this over to the sink and wash it up with some soap and water. There's actually a film on this thing uh, that keeps it from rusting while in transport, transport and storage. Uh, so we'll go ahead and wash that off with soap and water. Get this thing ready to install. All right, we've got our brake rotor all washed up. Once you get it clean, you don't want to touch the uh, rotor surface with your hands, if possible. So we'll go ahead and just slide that on. And you'll see if you look at the old one, there's a little rubber plug it goes right there in that hole. You can just usually just pops right out and pop it right into the new one. There we go. Alright, our next step, we'll get the uh, caliper bracket all ready for the new pads. Let's go ahead and pull those old pads out of there. Now you want to go ahead and clean these uh, surfaces where the brake pads ride. So get those cleaned up and we're going to put some lubricant on those. Okay, go ahead and smear the lubricant on there real well. Now 
And you don't want excessive because you don't want it to flow over and hit the brake rotor. Okay, now we're ready to put the caliper bracket back on and put our new shoes on there. We're going to start with one bolt so that we can get that brake caliper back in. Now here's our new brake pads we got from Auto Parts Direct to you. You want to match them up with the old ones. See how the, uh, this was the inner pad, you can tell where the piston was riding. You see the, the noise making clip is on the opposite side, so that's not the correct one. So grab this one and line it up. You see that is a match. So that was the inner. So we're going to go ahead and put that back in. Okay, our last step. Um, we have to compress this piston in. You'll see if, if we were to try to put it up now, it, it won't clamp over there. So we're going to get that piston back to its home spot. That's what we use this uh, C-clamp vice grip for, or whatever tool you use to compress it. And you'll see it just goes right in. Okay. There we go. That's all there is to it. We are all done. Um, the other side goes exactly like this side. Um, so just go ahead and do, follow the same steps on the other side. Um, now one important step you always got to remember when doing brakes, before you drive it, make sure you pump up the brake pedal before you put it in gear. Because when you press that brake pedal, there's so much free play in this piston right now, that piston needs to move out and you do that by pumping up the brakes. Um, basically you pump it until you get brake pressure. Um, but other than that, that is how you do rear brakes on a Nissan Murano. Uh, many other cars are very similar, so you can probably use those steps uh, for many cars. So we appreciate you watching, and thank you.